What's poppin'? It's DJ Miss Jessen, and you're here with the Red Kulak Podcast YouTube. I appreciate you guys for tuning in. But look, before we go any further, I would love for you guys to look down below, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, tap the notification bell, and also leave a comment because I do speak back. Thank you very much, you guys. Um, let's get straight to it. Takashi six nine snitching. That's it. That's period. He's snitching. Everybody's talking about um. Well, they tried to kill him, and they were sleeping with his baby's mother. Okay. Oh, uh, they was plotting on him. They robbed him. They did that. They did this. Da 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 da. Okay. But I'm going to tell you what someone told me a long time ago as far as the game. There ain't no rules to the game. If these niggas was doing that, they was doing that. But what there is is cold. There's no snitching. He played a game that was too real for him and he got caught up. He got caught up. So now we're supposed to be okay. Like, well, he was just a kid who, who was just rapping and doing this and these guys were trying to kill him. So if he's going to tell, he's going to tell it's okay. Nah, that shouldn't be the narrative. The narrative should be don't be about that life and don't play these street games if you're not willing to handle the time or the consequences that come with it. What they told us when we was growing up, if you can't do the time, don't do the crime. <laughs> that shit still applies today. He just played a game in these streets that he wasn't ready for. And he did it for clout and, and, and internet fame and, and getting money. And people fell for it. The kids fell for it. Unfortunately, the kids are still falling for it. As far as the kids are concerned, hey, let him snitch. Let him do that. And even some adults, hey, I'd do it too if I had this and that and that and that. No, that shouldn't even be. That's not the point. The point is don't play these street games if you're not ready to deal with these street consequences. Period. You're not built from that elk, stay away from it. Anybody who's been around the streets, who was affiliated with the streets, who just knew somebody from the streets, who dealt with anything in that capacity, you understood and you saw that Takashi 69 really wasn't built like that. We also saw that the dudes that was running with him, who was quote unquote his OGs, didn't have his best interests. We saw that. It was easy to see they was using him and he was making bad decisions. There were a few people who would interview him and say things. Fat Joe, we always going to say Fat Joe because he told him exactly what was going to happen and it happened. But he didn't want to listen to nobody but his, again, I'm, air quote, I'm doing air quotations, his OGs. Who was bad from him, for him from the jump and we knew it. What I'm saying is we knew Takashi wasn't street. The only thing people used to say is, well, but he running with some real niggas. Alright, cool, but that's not him. And now he's snitching. He's doing what we knew he would do, what I said he would do, and he's doing it. Why? Because if you know, you know. He wasn't cut like that. Period. And I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not knocking him from doing what I knew he was going to do. I'm going to put it like that. I don't respect him for it because you play the game with these streets. And then now you got some real street niggas and some shit. And I'm not even talking about Shotty excluding Shotty because I feel a whole nother way about him. But even the cooler nigga kid who just did some, some stuff for him and now you snitching like, that's what's, that's what's foul. And you just have to look at it how it is. I don't care. They're like, well, if you if these niggas was trying to kill you and they was trying to do this, da, 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 was Kuda trying to do that to him? Was that one of the dudes that was trying to kill him? And, and is that one of the niggas that fucked his baby moms or was that shoddy? Because from what I know, you told on that dude who shot on at Chief Keith and them. That's what you really told on that's going around anyway. That's the story. That's what's in the paperwork, right? It's not right. He got in these streets and wasn't able to handle it. Don't go play these street games if you can't handle the street consequences. You got to hold it down and you got to be solid. A lot of people will never get that. And listen here, I'm not a, I don't condone none of this shit. 
Which is why in the beginning I was saying what I said. You go back to my podcast. You go back to my YouTube, which is not very far. I just started. Look, I said he was funny kid. He should get more into this, more into that, and stay away from that. That ain't for you. That's what I'm saying. That ain't for you. This street shit ain't for you. It ain't cool. The kids need to know it ain't cool. Fuck. Hey, if I go playing around out here and this happens and that happens and if I snitch, oh, but these niggas would try. No. Really, the narrative should be stop playing in these streets and stop playing these games. You ain't willing to deal with these consequences for the fourth time. Period. Do what you do. Do the right thing. Have fun. Do that. But you know these streets. Yeah, these streets don't love nobody. But at the same time, there's a code. And if Takashi was out here running this code and these was his niggas and he was blood gang and yada, 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 then it is what it is. Because everybody's grimy. Don't look for everybody to be fucking loyal to you. That's why you got to cut and do this and do that when you get on. But instead of him doing that, he went to where the trouble was and thought it was cool. All them suck my dicks and fuck yous and I do what I want to do and all of that shit he was saying. And even when he went on the breakfast club, how am I a snitch? I'm not a snitch. He even said I'm not a... He even was like, no, I'll never... He said it, but now he's snitching. Look, none of that is neither here nor there. All I'm saying is, look, moral of my story is don't play these street games. If you ain't willing to deal with these street consequences and do your time if you did the crime and these niggas is out here do it, taking penitentiary chances for you. And yeah, I know. They fucked your baby moms. Niggas tried to do this and niggas tried to do that. You was playing in the streets. There's a code. And it is what it is. That shit ain't gonna never change. And the snitch gonna be a snitch. And the snitch gonna always need protection. And you're never gonna go back to home and be cool. It's not gonna just be cool. Because that's just how the streets work. So guess what? To all the kids and everybody who's gonna be like, but this, but that. Look, fuck all that. What I'm telling you is don't play them games. Don't play them games. Period. Leave that shit alone. Do you. Period. When I say do you, play Xbox, play basketball, do this, do that, go dance, go have fun, go to the skate rink, do this shit, do that shit. But if you ain't got to be in these streets and that ain't, don't go run into it. It ain't no glorified shit because when you got to go deal with the consequences, you ain't going to be ready for that shit. Look at your, your boy Melly who just got locked up for a murder of his homeboys. Crazy, right? Look, y'all. All I'm saying is, don't play these street games, man. And that's what Takashi 6 9 did. He played street games. He got involved with some niggas he really didn't know. He got involved in some shit he really didn't know. <laughs> but it was fun to him. And now he's dealing with those consequences. Even now. I don't condone none of this shit. All I'm saying is stay out the streets, though. And you ain't got to worry about it. He was warned. I can't feel sorry for him because he was warned. He was warned by so many people to relax, get your money. You're here. Do you. But he ain't take heed to what people were saying. So look, we're going to pay attention to what's going on with that. With Takashi, he has, uh, I think, um, his trial is in what? September or January I don't remember It's coming up I think he's in jail Till then We know he's talking To the feds We know he's not gonna do A lot of time We know he's gonna get out We know they said He was gonna go Under the witness protection I'll do a whole Another video about that For people who think He's just gonna come home And make music And the shit He's gonna go back To being the same But at any rate I appreciate you guys For tuning in To the Red Kool-Aid Podcast YouTube Subscribe Hit the like button Tap the notification bell and also leave a comment because I do speak back, man. Appreciate you. You stayed this long. It's Red Collect Podcast, YouTube, DJ Miss Jetson. Peace.